What's going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here with another short video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a pattern that I know I've talked about several occasions, uh, which is the morning panic dip buy. Um, this actually worked, and if you're prepared for this and you look, um, you scour through, the, and it works better with the OTC market. So if you're looking through, you look for gainers that have gone up day after day after day. Uh, I know the other day I mentioned a few that were on my, uh, on my watch list. Uh, one to keep on your watch list is J-A-D-A, -A, Jada. Um, in fact, let me just double check that real quick. Yeah, J-A-D-A. -A. This thing's up on no news whatsoever. Just broke through 52-week highs up to 26 cents. This thing's up from 14 cents earlier today. Um, just skyrocketing on absolutely no news whatsoever. Uh, this is this seems to me to be a pump. So I would keep J-A-D-A. -A. I would keep that on Jada Art Group. I would keep that on your watch list for another uh, collapse or a panic dip buy. Uh, this thing uh, takes a dump down to you know support levels of uh, 13, 14 cents. I'd be buying it up. Um, one in particular that uh, over the past few days has worked out really well is uh, RLFTF, Relief Therapeutics. Uh, this thing closed on Monday at 67 cents. This was down from almost 95 cents. Uh, it ended up opening on Tuesday the following day at 36 cents. So you're talking about a 31 cent drop in this stock. Um, if you were to catch this thing anywhere under 40, uh, if you're keeping your eye on it and catch it anywhere under 40, this thing proceeded to go all the way up to 59 cents uh, later on that day. This stock that day then closed at 54 cents, and then Wednesday opened below 40 cents. So it had two days in a row where it had a panic dip buy, and then it rose from 40 cents all the way up to 54 cents that day. So you could have made tr tremendous profits on those days on uh, RLFTF the past couple of days. Uh, one that happened today is uh, Tomi Environmental that I mentioned this morning that had earnings, uh, TOMZ. Uh, this stock closed at 204 yesterday, took a dump down to about 130. Now, I always say wait for the first green candle. Um, you would have been able to get in about 135. The stock then rose to about 150. So if you were to take 10% profits, it would have worked out for you. If not, you may have got stuck and would have had to have been stopped out um, because I used the low of the day as the uh, stop out area. Then it then crashed down to 114 and then shot up all the way 30 cents up to 144. I wouldn't say shot up, it kind of crept up. And right now this stock is trading uh, right around 134, 135. Um, with, the, with this stock right now, the uh, reason why I'm mentioning this one is because I think this is an absolute steal right now. Uh, at, at about 130, anywhere under 140, this stock, with the business model that they have, and I did scour through their earnings report, I didn't think it was that bad. I'm not sure what the street was expecting, but um, as far as their earnings, they're up significantly, almost 500% on their on their numbers this year. Uh, had over 70 some odd new customers added to the fold, uh, hospitals and all kinds of food manufacturing, all kinds of stuff. And I think it's just going to grow and grow. The prospect of possibly putting them in sports stadiums, using them for the Olympics, all kinds of things where uh, people would have to food processing, where you walk in and these uh, sterimists uh, disinfects, uh, safe for food, everything, safe for people. Um, I can't see why this stock would uh, stay this low. So I would definitely keep my eye on TOMZ. Um, and again, I just grabbed some this morning. Um, so it, this might be a you know a little bit of a swing trade for myself. I mean, if this thing shoots up into the you know 170s, 180s, you know today or tomorrow, I'm probably going to end up selling it for my profit. But I think this one's going to progressively go back up over the next. Uh, you know, kind of based out now. So I think over the next couple of weeks, this stock's going to kind of regain its legs and go back up. But uh, that's just a quick report on how this morning panic dip buy can work for you. One of my favorite patterns, um, the way this pattern is set up is, again, uh, and one that I'm keeping my eye on now is JADA, Jada. This is an OTC stock that is up tremendously on nothing. Um, it obviously has a lot of eyes on it. It has mediocre volume. You're looking at three, four, five million shares a day. Uh, it has under 100 million float, um, but I really don't know why this thing's up. Um, I mean, I've been looking everywhere to find some information on why they're up. So if anybody has that information, please put it in the comment section of if you know why this, this company's up. But um, one, in fact, one of my subscribers brought it up to me. I've been watching this stock, but he brought it up to me and put it in the comments a couple days ago to keep an eye on this stock. And shout out to him. Uh, I don't have his name right now. I just was looking through the comments. I'd like to, you know, just give him some sh uh, props for putting that in the comments. If you're watching, you know who you are. 
um, called this out at about 13, 12 or 13 cents and this thing went all the way up to 26 cents today has proceeded to pull back to about 23 24 but this thing started ramping back this thing may break highs again and go up into the 30s who knows um i just don't want to buy it i'm waiting for the, the panic dip buy on this thing because i think when it cracks it's going to crack hard real hard and if this thing cracks down to anywhere below 15 cents i'll be scooping some shares up and grab the bounce and then get back out. This is not something I'm going to buy and hold like Tommy for a little bit, just for the fact that it has no news. I have no idea why it's up, and without news, I really, there's no justification in my eyes to buy this stock. Um, but yeah, TOMZ, this this stock, to, in my opinion, now is a strong buy. Um, and again, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy here giving you my opinion talking to a cell phone. So take that for what it is. But uh, I really think this is a very strong buy right now. In fact, I, I purchased myself, and uh, I think uh, and in both accounts I purchased. So uh, I, I like, really like TOMZ. I think this stock has great news, a great story. Uh, under the election infection that we're living under, this stock is going to be in high, or this stock. This stock will go up because this company is in high demand. Again, I can always be wrong, but... Uh, the stock has just completely gradually grinded up for the past three four months uh it, it, for, from about 50 cents uh, all the way up to above two dollars and uh to get smashed like it did today i mean completely crushed down to the 130s in fact down to 114 of the low uh first dip it was uh, 130 and then came back a little bit and then crashed back down uh, to 114 um, like I said, this didn't play out like the perfect morning dip buy because if I would have, I watched it and I did not buy it then, I would have probably ended up stopping out if I didn't. But you got to keep in mind too, always take in trades like this, always take profits at about 10, 15%. And if you would have played it like that, you would have made on both trades. So, um, but again, learn this morning panic dip buy. This is one of the one of the greatest patterns in the stock market. I got to give a shout out to Tim Sykes because he's the one that brought it up to me, and, and uh, I've learned through him this pattern. And um, man, this pattern is golden, absolutely golden. Uh, one of the best patterns in the game. So. Um, that's all I got for you. Uh, keep an eye on TOMZ. I think this is a, a great uh, dip buying opportunity for this stock for for a, a you know a short term swing trade. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.